Tony Robinson returns home from a long day at work. I have great bosses and great structure, and uh, I'm learning a tremendous amount. His career and his daughter take up most of Robinson's time these days. He's a long way from the pain and struggle of his early life that landed him in prison. I'm molested at five by my babysitter. I missed a lot in school, like using drugs, selling drugs. A series of felony convictions led to Robinson being charged under the Armed Career Criminal Act, a 1984 law passed to take repeat offenders off the street. Committing three crimes that fall under the act, then getting caught with a gun, means a minimum 15-year prison sentence. At 29 years old, Tony was sentenced to 22 years. Life as I knew it was over. But the law that landed Robinson behind bars is facing repeated challenges from defendants. They argue the triggers that result in mandatory sentences are vague and vary widely from state to state. Three years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled part of the law unconstitutional, leading to the early release of 1,400 prisoners. This week, defense attorneys were back in front of the court arguing for more parts of the law to be tossed out. Almost always the government is losing, the defendant is winning. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton says he has a solution. Instead of basing the law on specific crimes like burglary or arson, Cotton wants the law's triggers to include any crime with at least a 10-year max sentence. If you have prior convictions of 10 years or more for a maximum sentence, we are going to presume that that's a serious crime. Make sure that you are locked up basically for the rest of your life. Defense attorneys worry the change could punish relatively low-level offenders with long sentences and tie the hands of judges like the one who freed Tony Robinson five years early. That's truly unfortunate because he looked in my case and saw that I was a decent person. Some people in Congress want to let criminals out on the streets or give liberal judges more discretion. I do not. Robinson worries the catch-all approach will prevent people like him from making amends. I show my remorse by continuing to be a law-abiding citizen. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.